It is like unto the fresh white color of a conch shell, for it is not easily ascertained whether that color is identical with or different from the shell. The yellow color of gold presents a similar case, or consider the melodies from the sound of a guitar, for it is difficult to ascertain whether that sound is identical with or different from the guitar. Or take the fragrance that wells up from aloes, for it is difficult to tell whether it is identical with or different from the aloes. Or take the bitter taste of pepper, for it is difficult to tell if it is identical with or different from the pepper. A similar case is the insipid taste of an astringent nut. It is like the silky skin of a moth and its softness, for it is difficult to ascertain if that silky texture is identical with or different from the softness. Or take the rich liqueur on the top of boiled butter. Is it identical with or different from the boiled butter? Likewise, it is difficult to tell whether impermanence is identical with or different from conditioned states of being, whether suffering is identical with or different from impure states of mind, whether the no self of personality is identical with or different from all things, whether inquietude is identical with or different from covetousness. The same is true about anger and delusion vis a vis covetousness. Thus, Suvisu di Mati, the descriptive marks of the truth of ultimate meaning cannot be said to be either identical with or different from the descriptive marks of conditioned states of being. Suvisu di Mati, I have perfectly understood the descriptive marks of the truth of ultimate meaning, which are subtle indeed, profound indeed, hard to fathom indeed which transcend all descriptions as being identical with or different from all things. Having perfectly understood, I declare, preach, explain, and illumine for the sake of others. Then the world-honored one recited these verses to emphasize this meaning. The descriptive marks of the realm of conditioned states of being and of ultimate meaning are apart from being described either as identical or as different. If one imagines them to be either identical or different, one is acting unreasonably. Because of bondage to images and to gross weaknesses, sentient beings must assiduously cultivate quietude and vision, and then they will be able to attain liberation. At that time, the world-honored one addressed the venerable Sabuti and said, Sabuti, in the world of sentient beings, how many do you know who cherish their pride and, in a prideful manner, state their understanding? And how many do you know who state their understanding without pride? The Venerable Subhuti addressed the Buddha and said, World Honored One, in the world of sentient beings, I know a few who state their understanding without pride but I know innumerable, untold sentient beings who cherish their pride and state their understanding in a prideful manner. World-honored one, once I was dwelling in a grove in the forest. A large number of monks lived nearby. I saw them assemble after sunrise to discuss various issues and to propose their understandings, each according to his insight. Some proposed their understanding of the aggregates, their descriptive marks, their arising, their exhaustion, their destruction, and the realization of their destruction. Others, in like fashion, propose their understanding of the twelve bases of consciousness and of dependent co-arising, while yet others propose their understanding of sustenance, its descriptive marks, arising, exhaustion, destruction, and the realization of its destruction. Yet others propose their understanding of truth, its descriptive marks, the full awareness of truth, the severance brought about by truth, the realization of truth, and the cultivation of truth. Others propose their understanding of the realms, their descriptive marks, their various natures, their multiplicity, their destruction, and the realization of their destruction. Others propose their understanding of the stations of recollection, their descriptive marks, the states they are able to control, their cultivation, 
they're arising from a state of being not arisen. They're assured non-forgetfulness after arising, and they're increased from repeated practice. At the same time, others propose their understanding of true severance, of the sense faculties, of the powers, of the factors of awakening, while yet others talked about the Eightfold Path, its descriptive marks, the states it is able to control, its arising from a state of being non arisen, its assured unforgettableness once it has arisen, and its increase from repeated practice. <laughs>